Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Simplified. In today's video, we're going to walk through setting up a self-hosted GitHub Actions runner on an AWS instance and moving an existing GitHub Action workflow to use this new runner. So, let's dive right in. Here's the plan for today's video. Well, first launch an AWS EC2 instance, then install and configure the GitHub Actions runner on it. After that, well, modify an existing GitHub Action workflow to run on our new runner. Finally, well, verify everything to make sure it's working correctly. First, we need to launch a new EC2 instance on AWS. Head over to the AWS Management Console and select Launch Instance. Choose your preferred instance type, it'll go with a T2. Micro Instance, which is free tier eligible. Make sure to select an Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Next, configure the instance details. You can keep the defaults here, but make sure you allow SSH traffic in the security group so you can connect to your instance. Finally, review and launch the instance. Once it's up and running, well connect to it via SSH. Now that we're connected to our instance, let's set up the GitHub Actions runner. First, we need to install the necessary dependencies. Run the following commands. Head to your GitHub repository. Download the GitHub Actions Runner binary. Head to your GitHub repository. Click on Settings. Then Actions. And finally Runners. Follow the instructions to download and set up the runner. Copy the commands provided by GitHub and paste them into your terminal. This will download the runner binary and configure it to connect with your repository. Once runner successfully configured and run on instance, you can see the message connected to GitHub and in listening mode. Similar, you can check on GitHub runner page also. Now you can see the newly configured runner is displaying in runner page with idle status. With our runner up and running, it's time to modify our GitHub Action workflow to use this new self-hosted runner. Open the YAML file of your GitHub Action workflow. Under the Runs On key, change the value from Ubuntu Latest or whatever default is there. To self-hosted, this tells GitHub to use your new runner instead of the default ones. Commit your changes and push them to your repository. This will trigger the workflow, and you should see it running on your new self-hosted runner. If everything is set up correctly, your job will complete as usual, but now it's running on your AWS instance. And that's it. You've successfully set up a self-hosted GitHub Actions runner on an AWS instance and moved an existing workflow to use it. This is a great way to have more control over your build environment or if you need to run jobs in a specific environment. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more DevOps tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.